morning here i am for my morning walk and there's a few things i want to tell you about it but first of all i'm going in the park let me show you look at the puddle i'm going to have to walk through and can you see over there there's a magpie having a bath but it's okay because yes i am all wellied up so into the park and what I wanted to tell you is this. Well, have a look at this <laughs> that I'm about to walk through. There is a lot of rain. Taking a leaf out of Ali's book there and enjoying splashing in puddles. When was last time you splashed in puddles? I might have to take my glasses off, you know, because I'm not going to be able to see much. Anyway, this... Look at that tree. Right, let me walk over to this tree. It's like, I know we are having a storm, but look, it's like, it's like there's a lake around it, look. Oh, this is where I'm going now. Better not be deeper than my well is. Might be a darn French moment now. How crazy is that? That's coming like right up to my ankles. Good job, my wellies don't leak. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get off this path. Sorry, birdies. Good morning, Iram. How are you? I hope you're okay. Oh, I think I was in the middle of uh, a bath of birds there. This park, we've been coming in this park, Neil and I, for over a year now, since big lockdown and coming for walks. And the first time I came, it was beautiful sunshine and I came jogging around here in summer as well if you go back to any of my earlier videos and I was fuming about the part that there was litter everywhere because it was a red hot summer and then lockdown lifted it's that park we came in winter and it was snowy and now it's just like a giant lake anyway back to my reason for tea talks so every morning I'm going to be here with you for 10 minutes for tea talks mostly i'm going to be out here having a walk in different places and talking to you about what's going on with the day what i'm up to how i'm dealing with things how you're dealing with things checking in with you life every now and again it might be from my kitchen or my yoga mat if it's a particularly bad bad weather day but i've got wellies no reason why i can't be out and about so here I am with my tea talking. But this this park, we actually found this park at summertime when we, we found a house around the corner that we were going to get, but we got gazumped. I don't mind so much that we got gazumped because that's actually quite a nice word to say. Gazumped. Here I am going through another lake. Um and we came and we once locked big lockdown lifted a bit. We brought our books and because we haven't got a garden, we've got a beautiful apartment, but no garden. It's just hashtag city living, isn't it? Um, so we came in here with our books and a cup of tea. Well, not a cup of tea then, because it was summer. And there's a little pond in the middle of it. And there were some tadpoles. So this park is actually called Winton Park, but we call it Tadpole Park. And that's why there were some tadpoles. Now, I've never seen like the in live time the evolution from egg to frog of a tadpole so it was fascinating we loved it we came every day we came every day we came every day and the, the the pool dried up because of the sun and we filled up loads of water bottles from home and brought water to help them and everything was going grand and then we're here looking at the tadpoles a great big giant great dane ate them they just they absolutely disappeared one day we were we came to see them and they were just gone and there was loads of water there but they themselves were gone so we were like that is a bit weird someone's having an extension over there that's a bit weird but we kept coming back and looking for them because we thought maybe they'd move further into the pond and a big great dane came running through the pond and jumped in the pond for a great big huge drink and we were like, oh, 
That's what happened to the tadpoles. They got eaten by the Great Dane. Or drunk by a big Great Dane. But anyway, that was the end of the tadpoles. So I never did see them become frogs or froglets before they became frogs. Poor little tadpoles. And I hope the Great Dane was okay. That can't have been terrifically good for him, can it? Um, <laughs> I know. The tea I have on today's tea talk is a detox tea, actually, today. Keeping me nice and warm. It's got botanicals in it and herbs and it's just really good at cleansing out the liver which let's face it we went from Christmas to New Year to big lockdown we all need a bit of a liver cleanse after the wine that we drank to deal with that but I am on the 30 days now so there's no more wine just detoxing um so here I am and I'm gonna be here every day with you having a cup of tea talking to you Plodding on through this flooded park. Let me see if I can show you a bit more of it. This is where I am now on the path. And it's just, there's a big lake coming out here now to this tree. It's just fully flooded. There's one time an extension over there. That's what the drilling is. Those poor builders. I bet they're like, thanks for an extension in the middle of storm. Storm Crystal? Storm Christoph? What is this storm called? Chris something. Anyway, here it is. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Talking to you every day. Some days, Ali is going to be on her morning walks. We'll be able to hook into hers and tap into her walk and say hi to those guys over there. Some days, like today, she's on her lunch. So, she'll be doing her walk this lunchtime. So, we'll be able to see her then. Oh, guys, I don't even know if I can get through here. Right, <laughs> might have to turn back. Let me show you. So I'm coming up here on the pond where the poor uh, tadpoles... No, I can't get through. This is where the tadpoles were at summertime, right? So here, this was all lovely and green. This is where we sunbathed and read our books. And now the pond... It's coming right up to here, look. This is the edge of the pond. Whereas at summer, the edge of the pond was back there. That was the edge of the pond. Now it's to here. Now that's all great, because all wildlife and, you know, it all needs some rain, it all needs some greenery. But just through the trees there, there's a path. However, if you can see, it's not a path anymore. It's just our giant pond. Oh, hello, lots of red bushes. I don't know what they are. Look, so I can't get past because you see that river there? That's my path there, which is slightly not passable. <laughs> so um, I'm not going on there. Look, there's the very edge of the path. Look there. We're on a road to nowhere. Splosh. So I'm not going to go wading through that even with my wellies on because that looks like it might actually come over the top of my wellies. And I don't mind my feet getting a bit wet because it's raining, but I don't want to be splish splosh inside my wellies. So I'm going to cut back across the grass and head home. I love this kind of light. I mean, for me, I get up at five in the morning. I know you did hear that right. Five. Even now, when I'm working from home, I get up at five. Because I love, I love the peacefulness when no one's awake. I love that hour on my own. It's great because Neil's more of a night owl. So we get that kind of bit of our own space. Do my yoga, do my meditation, come around, start my day, smash my day. But you know when you're watching, when you're watching the day wake up and it has this light. And I know there's a word for it, I don't think it's dawn. Is it just dawn? I thought dawn was more when the sky's pink and it's sunrise. Is this dawn? I know when you get this kind of light in the evening towards sunset, it's dusk. So is that what this is? 
you know, the hazy light in the morning. Is that just called dawn? Anyway, I love it. The day's not quite awake, but it's fresh. I've done my to-do list. I know what I'm doing today. I'll tick all that off. Feel a terrific sense of achievement. And then... Um, I feel like my day means something. Do you know what I mean? I've used it well and I've used it... I've used it well, as in... I've kept myself safe and happy and achieved the things I want to achieve. That's my definition of having used it well. And I guess sometimes... Using it well... The same as any kind of self-care might be... Curling up on the sofa for an hour with a sandwich and a Grey's Anatomy. A Grey's Anatomy... I should have scheduled that in today, but I didn't. Anyway, I'm heading back to the car, away from all these muddy lakes. I feel really good about my day having this little walk outside. And I will see you tomorrow for Tea Talks. Enjoy your day. Bye, lovelies.